Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into our channel, welcome. It is New Year's Eve day um, down outside uh, Santa Barbara in Goleta, California. Uh, Lori decided to stay at home. Uh, each month I go down into the desert. Uh, it's what's called a new moon weekend. I'm an astrophotographer, so I go down there because the moon is not out at night and it helps uh, produce better images of uh, deep sky objects. But the purpose of this uh, video is um, since I am going down into the desert and I'm going to be dry camping, I want to conserve my propane. And I did a video, I think a year ago, when we had our Class A uh, motorhome uh, about this heater. And um, at that time, we had had it for three years. And uh, now it's an additional year. So we've had this heater for four years. And now that we've downsized into our 2021 Winnebago uh, Solus flat top, uh, we still carry this heater with us. Uh, we did a couple of trips recently uh, down to Southern California, Indio, California, in the Palm Springs area. And at night it got cold. We were staying at an RV park. So rather than burn the propane, uh, just put this heater on. Now there's a link to this heater in the description of this video. Um, and uh, so last night, I'm here in uh, outside Santa Barbara and it got down to 49 degrees. Uh, the Solus seems to be pretty well insulated. I am heading to the desert um, down in Morongo Valley where the temperatures are going to be about 28 degrees at night. It'll be our first real uh, cold um, night out in the uh, Solus. Um, so again, I wanted to save the propane because I'll probably be running the heater uh, most of the time that I'm out there. Even the daytime temperatures are only supposed to be up in the upper 40s. So, uh, just a couple of things about this heater. Uh, I'm going to turn it on high. Um, well, let me see if you can see these controls. But you have an off, uh, a fan setting, um, a half uh, power setting, I think. This is uh, a 1500 watt slash 900 watt um, uh, portable heater. Um, and then this is where you can control your temperature, in a sense. Uh, you know, there's no digital readout or anything, but uh, generally what I do is I uh, turn it on high, uh, I bring the, the heat up uh, all the way, let it run, and then I start backing it off. Um, and uh, I'll even let this thing run at night, and I'm going to show you why. So here we are. Again, you know, you hear it because it's got a fan running in it. Uh, but what I like about this heater is uh, if it tips, it'll turn off. And that's because at the bottom there's, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little plunger here. So if this moves, um, it'll cut off. So, again, I just wanted to... Uh, kind of refresh the video in a sense that we already had up on our uh, on our channel uh, now that it's a year later and this Polonis uh, uh, portable uh, 1500 watt slash 900 watt uh, heater is still operating just uh, fine now of course we don't use it all the time we live in California many of the nights um, we don't use it and primarily because we're not where there's any uh, electric hookups but when there is an opportunity where we're in a place where there is an electric hookup and the temperature is going to drop at night, uh, rather than burn the propane, we use our Polonis uh, portable heater. And, um, you know, I think for the value, it's uh, $29.99. There's a link in the description that will take you to uh, our um, Amazon site. Uh, if you uh, purchase uh, the item off the Amazon site, we get a couple of pennies. I think we get like 90 cents. So that's a cool way to try to help support the channel if you think the channel is worth supporting. But okay, so that's just the uh, update on the Polonis 1500 watt, 900 watt portable heater uh, available uh, on Amazon, Amazon for $29.99. Um, and in my mind, it's a very good... Um, uh, tool to have if you're trying to save on your propane and you happen to be in a place where uh, you have uh, power, shore power. 
Okay. Uh, other than that, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, li if Lori was here, she'd say like, share, and subscribe. Um, I want to thank you for dropping into the channel and your continued support of the channel. Uh, Till next time.